Simon Foster story season is now underway in Bardstown. Here to tell us what patrons can expect for the show's 60th season are Billy Bass and Charlotte Campbell. Good morning. Thank you for being here and thank you for dressing up so nice for us. <laughs> <That's great. laughs> it feels like it. Now, I'm going to start with you, Billy. For someone maybe who hasn't seen this before, explain a little bit about the Stephen Foster story. So the Stephen Foster story is the official outdoor musical of Kentucky, and it tells the story of Stephen Foster's music. He wrote songs that everybody knows, Camp Town Races, Oh Susanna, and of course, My Old Kentucky Home. So this is our 60th season. We do the show outdoors on the grounds of Mount Kentucky Home State Park at the Amphitheater in Bardstown. Um, it features beautiful costumes like this, uh, almost 50 talented cast members, um, and it's just an absolutely beautiful show. It takes place in the 1850s, um, and it's just, it's just a really cool experience. A lot of things you can't do like that anymore. So Absolutely, and I mean, the costumes are worth it enough. I know it's hard <laughs> to see at home on TV, but this is absolutely stunning. Charlotte, tell me a little bit about the, the role you play and what it's like just being in the performance itself. Um, I play Jane McDowell. I'm Stephen's uh, main love interest. He has a couple. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I've, uh, this is my fifth season non-consecutively. My first year was in 2012 when I was 18. Wow. Um, it was my first ever professional job, actually my first ever job, <laughs> and definitely my first professional acting job. And it was, um, it's been absolutely wonderful, which is why I'm back. It's a, an experience unlike any other. It's so steeped in history and tradition and a great community of people. And I mean, it's, it, it's so Kentucky, too. I yeah. mean, like you said, it, it, it really is the story of Kentucky. And celebrating its 60th season, can we talk about that? Because that's an impressive accomplishment. Absolutely. You know, we almost didn't have the 60th season this year with some issues with the amphitheater. The state closed it back in December. It is a state-owned facility. So luckily, the community came together and made sure that we were able to have our 60th season, like we were talking about. You know, a lot of these things, like outdoor theater, doesn't exist like it used to back in the 60s and 70s. But to have a show like this in Bardstown, in its 60th season is just incredible. And maybe you can do this because, you know, you're the one, everybody's watching you, but you're the one watching the audience. What can people <laughs> expect if they come out? And maybe why should they check out the Stephen Foster store if they haven't before? Oh, gosh. It's so much good, um, beautiful music, beautiful costumes. This year there's more costumes than usual. It's the 60th anniversary, so they're bringing out all sorts of costumes that haven't been seen in a while. Uh, this one was last in, used in 1985, wow. I believe. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a lot of color, a lot of dancing and singing and beautiful music and a lovely story. A feeling of nostalgia too, you know, yes. every time the, the strains of My Own Kentucky Home play, whether I'm on stage or in the audience, I get chills every single time and, and it's just... And something else that might give folks chills, our own <laughs> Eric King is going to make a special cameo, right? I That's imagine right. that is going to be an Oscar worthy performance. Tell me a little bit about that. We're very excited. So he's going to be here next Saturday or here down in Bardstown next Saturday <laughs> for our Kentucky night. It's actually a night that any Kentucky resident can get a really discounted rate to see the show. It's only $12 for adults and $6 for kids plus fees, but he's going to make a little special cameo. We're not sure exactly where in the show. Show yet, but you won't miss him, I can tell you that. Oh, goodness. Well, I'm sure Eric will make his presence known. We thank you both for being up with us and Thanks so well dressed this morning. You look nice, too, but I mean, she's well, you know, the show. I feel underdressed yes, next to Charlotte. Yes, absolutely. Here. Well, thank you both for being here, and we want to give you the details one more time. The Stephen Foster story runs select nights and afternoons now through August 11th, and next weekend, our Eric King, you heard, will make a cameo appearance Saturday, June 23rd. The show starts at 8. Watch for him, of course, and just watch the show. Thank